Hello, welcome to another tutorial, and today we're going to be covering something brand new known as recipes and lambdas. Now, recipes are kind of confusing, and even though they came first in the title, we're going to cover lambdas first. Lambdas are like anonymous functions. Basically, a lambda is a function without a name. You can pass it in as like an argument for a function. For example, for each, for each takes in a list. Let's take a list of one, two, three, and a function. So first we're going to start out using the fn. I'm going to just do fn, and then x, which it's going to go through and pass in each element. I'm going to do x plus 1. And then if we just print this out, 2, 3, 4. I see it went through and added it one to each. But there's an even faster way than fn, and it's the bang operator, which is just an exclamation mark. So we just do exclamation mark, our argument, and ta-da. Now, if you want to, you can also use a body. But, eh. In some cases, that's good, but in our case, we just want to go through each item in a list and add one. And just do bang, x, arrow, x plus one. And that's it. That's a lambda. Now, a recipe is a bit more complex. A recipe is basically like a template object. It's our own custom type. For lists, you have lists like that, and it has all these functions that go along with it, like a pinned and pop. A recipe is kind of like that. It's our own custom object. We can create instances of it and other things. So we'll start out with recipe. Let's make our own custom object called a pizza. Now you have to end recipes with a semicolon. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to define what attributes does a pizza have. These are just custom variables that are specific to the pizza recipe. So we're going to call, we're going to have an attribute and we're going to call this topping. We're going to have cheese. We end this with a semicolon. So now our pizza recipe has the attributes topping and cheese. Now we want to we want to assign these, and every time we create a new one, so we're going to write a function that runs every time we create a new instance. We're going to call this ingredients, and just like any other function, we're going to have those. We're going to take in, I'm just going to take in A and B for topping and cheese, and then we're going to have our body. Now to assign an attribute, use the attr keyword. Or attribute for short. I mean, attribute for long, but short for attribute. Do attribute topping. We're gonna use the assignment arrow. It's equal to A. And attribute cheese is equal to B. That easy. Now, whenever we want to make a new pizza, we have to do print, and then we have to do pizza, and then our topping and an attribute. So let's create a new pizza. Let's create variable x. We're going to assign it to a pizza, the sausage, and the Swiss cheese. Like that. So, we want to make it so we can do, like, pizza details, a function that's part of pizza. But how do we define it? Well, we use the method keyword. Let's just do method details. And it's not taking any parameters, so we can just get rid of that. Now, inside here is where we're going to put all our code. So for details, I'm just going to say this is a pizza with, and then we're going to add our toppings to the string, and our cheese type, cheese. Like that. 
Now there's still an error there, and I'm not sure that can be, so let's just run and see. Hmm. Oh, it's because I was doing pizza details and not X details. That's it. Toppings is not defined. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if we want to access it, we also we still have to type attr, or we can use the this keyword to this toppings. And it gets us the current instance and then runs it on that. So let's try running it now. This is a pizza with null and Swiss cheese. Hmm. Oh, because it's topping, not toppings. So this is a pizza with sausage and Swiss cheese. Look at that. Isn't that pretty easy? <laughs> now, there are all types of uses for recipes, and we're actually going to use this recipe in our next tutorial, where we're going to be making a tic-tac-toe game. And it's going to be pretty, uh, it's going to be pretty crazy. Like I said, it might not be the next tutorial, but it's definitely going to be used in this. So, I'll see you all in the next tutorial. And, yeah, prepare.